This video is brought to you by premiumbeat.com. In this tutorial, we're going to take a quick dive into creating several minimal logo animation techniques inside of After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film and welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. So we have a very fun, quick tutorial where we'll be taking a look at working with some shapes and revealing our logo in a very nice, clean way. And before we jump into our tutorial, I wanna say thank you to Premium Beat for sponsoring this video. Premium Beat is a royalty-free music provider for your creative video and motion graphic projects. They have an extremely popular library with thousands of songs to choose from, and they have a very easy in-depth search and menu filter system that allows you to quickly find the best songs for your video. So for your next video project, be sure to check out premiumbeat.com for your royalty-free music. All right, here we are inside of After Effects, and we already have our tutorial composition with our logo and a white background. Important to keep in mind that everything we do in this video uh, is going to have a purpose as far as revealing on the logo. So. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna create a circle animation to reveal on our logo. It's all gonna be connected. So first thing we'll do to get started is we'll create that circle. So let's come here to the top and let's grab the ellipse tool. Let's turn off fill, so that's none. Click on the word stroke and we'll set that on. Perfect. And I'm just gonna use black for my color palette here. And simply let's draw a perfect circle by holding down shift. You can also hold down control on your keyboard and this will allow you to draw a perfect circle. Then we'll go to the line tab and just center this up. If you don't see the line tab, go to window align and there's that. So obviously we want to animate this circle. So <clears throat> what we can do here is go to add and we'll add a trim paths. We'll open up the trim paths and we'll set the end to 0%. We'll add a keyframe for end and we'll move forward maybe by like a second or so and set it up to 100%. So now we have this nice. So obviously we have a very simple animation here, but so we want to take this a step further and add like a dot to kind of make this stand out a little bit more. So I want to have a circle, like a dot, follow this path. So what we can do here is grab the ellipse tool again. This time we'll turn fill on and we'll turn the stroke off. Great. Then we'll just draw out a perfect circle, very small, you know, like a dot. Very cool. Then we can rename this to dot. So if we want to make this dot follow the circle, what we can do is go to our circle layer, open this up, go to the ellipse one, go to the ellipse path one, right click it and click on convert to Bezier path. Open up the path one, click on path and copy it. Go to our dot, hit P on your keyboard for, you know, position and we'll just paste that in there. Just control V. And now we have this in here. Now, of course, if this isn't right on the circle, like mine isn't, we can easily fix this. So make sure you go to one of the last keyframes here, one of the first or last keyframes, and make sure they're all selected so you can click drag all the keyframes and just use the X and Y position to move this right on your circle. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Now, the next step is to get the dot on our path. So just hit A on keyboard for anchor point and just use the X and Y positions here to put this right exactly where it needs to be, right in the center. And then let's go ahead and bring up all of our keyframes here. Let's select all of our keyframes for the dot, move them over, move the last keyframe in because these are rove over time. And then of course make them all easy, ease keyframes by hitting F9 on your keyboard. And now our dot will follow the line and that's perfect. Now we have some revealing on the path. Now of course we want to adjust this animation. So let's go ahead and move our keyframes over by a little bit. Go to the beginning of our timeline, grab our dot, hit S on our keyboard for scale, add a keyframe for it, move that keyframe over, set the scale down to 0%, and then make both those keyframes easy. Ease keyframes, go towards the end here, add a keyframe for scale, and let's go ahead and animate this out by setting the scale to 0%. So now we have our circle revealing on with our dot, and it disappears, and that's awesome. So now we've gone through two techniques of creating the trim path circle and animating our dot on a custom path. Now let's move on to our third technique, which is revealing on our logo using the similar technique. So we want to use the circle theme here. So what we'll do is grab the ellipse tool and we'll make sure fills turned on. And simply what we'll do is just draw out a perfect circle to cover up our entire, you know, original stroke circle. And then we'll make sure this is centered up with the align tab. And if we need to just hit asterisk keyboard for scale and just see how far we have to scale that. And that's perfect. All right, awesome. Let's go ahead and open up our shape layer go into the contents, go to the lips one, go to the transform lips one. And right after that dot has gone down, we want to animate this. So let's go ahead and add a keyframe for scale 
and move this forward maybe by a half second. Bring the scale down to 0%. And now we'll have this animation. Great. Make them both easy ease keyframes. Then close this up. Go ahead and we'll duplicate our lips one by going up to edit, duplicate. Then click on the word contents, go to add and add a merge paths. Open up merge paths, set the mode to subtract and just hit U on your keyboard to bring up the keyframes and offset the keyframes by a little bit. And now boom, the circle will animate out. And of course we can adjust these keyframes by a little bit, maybe make the animation a little bit longer. And now our circle will come in and animate out. And that's awesome. So now we just gotta reveal our logo on correctly. So we'll grab our logo, which in my case is a placeholder. We'll grab the ellipse tool. And simply now we'll just draw out a mass to cover up our circle. Just hit shift and control here. Make it perfect around that circle. Awesome. Then, you know, towards the end here, our last keyframe, let's hit MR keyboard for mass path. Add a keyframe for mass path. Let's move here to the first keyframe and then hit control T on a PC, command T on a Mac. And this allow us to get the scale box here. And we'll hold, hit shift and control on our keyboard to bring this in right to the center. Make that as small as you can. Then bring the endpoint of our placeholder or logo into the first keyframe. And make both of these keyframes easy, easy keyframes. And now, perfect. Our logo reveals on perfectly. And one last thing we do to add some very just subtle an animation here is go up to layer new null object. And let's parent all of our layers to the null object. And boom, we can toggle switch to the modes if you can't see the pick whip. Go to our null object, hit asterisk keyboard for scale, add a keyframe for that. Move to the end of our animation, and I'll just say five seconds, and we can scale this downwards very subtly. So now we have an overall very nice, you know, subtle animation. Now, of course, these were very minimal clean techniques to create you know this very simple logo and this is going to be applied to a lot of logos that you may work on in the future however if we want to just add more to this we want to you know just look like, make it look like we did a little bit more work there's so, several things that we do we, of course we could add more lines and other types of motion graphics to this of course one of my favorite things i'd like to do is add accent motion graphics and essentially accent motion graphics are these you know random motion graphics in here that is just adding a little bit more flair a little bit more style to this and we have a handful of tutorials on how to create these so if you want to learn how to create things like this you can check our links in the description and of course we have our very own pack called the accent motion graphics starter pack which has 125 accent motion graphics that you can bring into any after effects composition for example it's right here in our project and i can bring in one of the clusters you know within a second i was able to just add a little bit more detail to this and of course i can add a few more so Gonna add cluster six, and now we have another one in here. And I'll add one more called cluster 19. And within like literally 30 seconds, we've been able to just add a lot more detail to our composition. And this is straight out of our accent motion graphic pack, which once again has 125 accent motion graphics. And if you want to learn how to create accent motion graphics, make sure you check those links in the description. If you want to learn more about our pack, you can check our links in the description as well. We have a full review on it, and I'll also link it to our website if you want to learn everything there is about it. And if you want some more techniques on creating logo animations and accent motion graphics, you can go ahead and check our links in the video description. We have created several tutorials on these things in the past, and you can get some awesome insight on how to do this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember, if you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description. And always, be creative.